strange how we are resistant to change. Yet our very existence relies on our ability to adapt. It seems because we are creatures of habit and emotion. We tend to want to hold on to what is dear to us and hope that nothing changes. Sweet with me, buddy. I'm on to you. Spike still hiding your stuff? Yeah. He's gonna miss you. No. He's gonna miss my jelly beans. <laughs> Here you go. Hey. I'm gonna head out to a Tumba Point. Take some shots. You know I need the truck today, right, Dylan? Right. There's always a Keely. Great. All right, girl. Mom's got the truck. So it's just me and you today. Remember, I'm a little rusty here, okay? Take it easy on me. Okay, ready? Whoa, oh! oh. oh. Hey. It's all right, girl. It's not your fault. Hey. Where are you going, girl? Thanks a lot, girl. I know, I know. I'm a little out of practice here. I promise, before I head back for finals, I'll be able to do the leg up again. Okay. These last few months have been crazy for Kate. Now that things have finally let up, I thought you could use a little getaway. Are you asking me to watch over the compound? Well... <laughs> I don't mind. Thanks, Marika. So what do you two have planned? <sighs> Breakfast on the Atlantic. Lunch on the Cape. And dinner on the Indian Ocean. Oh, Cape Town, how romantic. <laughs> yeah. I really want to surprise her. Surprise her. Travis, how are you going to get her on the plane without her knowing where you are going? Well, I haven't quite figured out that part yet. Thank <laughs> you. 
Travis. Go ahead, Travis. Katie Alinus has been snared. She's being transported to Pretoria. Doesn't look good. Which one? It's Elsa, Katie. I'm on my way. What are you doing here? I was was snared. Kate's in there right now. been since Kate's seen Elsa. Well, you know, Katie, she's always kept tabs on her, but uh, Elsa was released into the wild, what, five years ago? Uh, five years since she's seen her up close. Hmm. Why don't you uh, run a little Fred from home, huh? <laughs> Pick the fellow up from the zoo, actually. What's the matter with him? Yeah, he's blind as a bat. Brought him in here to run some tests. You too. Oh, it seems like no one wants you to leave again. 
I'm not exactly thrilled to go back to school for finals myself. Uh, you'll do fine. Another take from home? Yeah, boo. It's so nice to hear their voices. <laughs> Dylan. Yeah. Elsa was snared this morning. Your mother is operating on her right now. Where? In Pretoria, and your father is with her. I gotta go. Can I use your truck? Well, before you can get there, I'm sure they will be on their way home. Well, how bad is it? Will she be okay? I don't know, Dylan. I I'm sorry. So be okay. <laughs> She'll have to stay here a week or two to heal. Don't worry, I can stay away. I just needed to be there for her. Just in case. I just got a call from Max. There he is now. I'll get my medical bag. shouldn't have interfered, but she was abandoned and about to be ambushed by some hyenas. Is she hurt, Mom? Hard to tell. Yeah, she's hungry. Dylan, help me prepare some food. Max, I'm going to need to know exactly where you found her so I can get her back to a pride as soon as possible. Are you going to be okay with this? The truth is, there wasn't a pride. I think she'd been abandoned for days. Well, Max was right. If this is where he found the cub. Pride moved on long ago. I will head to Petoy Range. Mama's tape was an hour long this time. Two sides. And even my grandpa, who knows nothing about how a tape recorder works, was trying to tell me about the party. Oh, he is a mess, Travis. You should have heard him. He would push the stop button, I am certain, because right in the middle of a sentence, he would have to stop and get someone else. <laughs>
on your feet. You got nothing on me, Ranger. That trap ain't mine. Yeah, and I suppose you just happened to be in the neighborhood when that cat was smeared, huh? Yeah, thought it was my lucky day. You damn well know you're banned from this park, Kirk. You're under arrest for trespassing. Oh, no, not trespassing. Oh. You're going to prison, no question. Question is, for how long? And I suppose that answer depends on me, huh? That's right. <laughs> well, in case you haven't noticed, Ranger, I ain't been to prison yet. So I guess that makes me pretty good at this game. Well, you better hope so. You almost took two very important friends of mine. And I'm not going to give you another chance. Well, that's a shame. I might have put in a better effort if I knew they were friends of yours. If I had anything to do with it in the first place. <laughs> Any luck? No. I'm getting really tired of seeing his face on these streets. Me too. But until we can connect him to the traps, we have nothing. Well, we've worked with Glass. Yeah. Oh, how is Kate? Uh, she's holding up. Good. Give her my best. I will. And how is Marika? Fine. Marika's just fine. I'll tell her hello for you. No, no, don't. Well, if you think she would like it, eh? Forget it. Forget it. Sawobona, everybody. It sounds like your birthday party was wonderful, Mama. <laughs> I miss you all so much. But will someone please teach Grandfather how to use the tape recorder or I will miss everything. <laughs> Katie? What's wrong? I just spoke to the hospital. Elsa's not recovering as fast as they hoped. What? Well, where are you going? To bring her here. Kitty, you can't. They don't have the funds or the space to keep her there. Honey, we'll come up with the money. Hospital costs, Travis? We can't afford that, but we do have the resources right here. It's too risky. Risky? Rehabbing animals is what we do. But this is Elsa. This is your girl. All the more reason to try. Sorry, Miss I. It just doesn't seem right that we have to lock up Miss I. It's going to be tough on everyone, Dylan. But we can't risk Elsa and Masai bonding. Yeah, boy. 
The separation would be too painful when Elsa leaves. Well, it's going to be strange having Elsa back home and not being able to play with her. This isn't her home, Dylan. That's the point. We're all gonna have to stay away from her. It's probably best if just Travis helps. Less contact. Travis, why don't you do it? She wants to be as close to the wild as possible. Probably about as bad as it looks. Oh, it's like riding a bike. Mom, it's like riding a motorhome. No, I mean, you never forget. So it's pretty weird having Elsa back, huh? Yeah. Like the whole family's back together again. For a little while, anyway. I know, Dylan. But feel free to remind me as often as possible. So why is it taking so long for her to heal? Just age. She'll be fine, though. Yeah. Think she remembers us? I try not to think about it, actually. Right. Well, I think you did the right thing, bringing her back here. Thanks, kid. <laughs> okay, okay. I promised her I'd have this down before I left. Well, if there's one thing I've learned, it's never let down your best girl.
Okay. What gives? I miss my crazy brother. <laughs> I miss my whole family. I feel so far away from home. Yeah. When we first got here, it took a while for us to get used to being out in the middle of nowhere. Maybe that's where our family keeps growing and growing. We like the company. Oh, so do I. <laughs> it's just... Well, I... Family. Yeah, boy. I know it's not the same, but I hope you know that we consider you a part of our family. Thank you. full of life. It sure can get lonely around here. Dylan! So, what does this mean for Elsa? Well, Dylan was only with her for a minute or two, so I don't think it's a setback. Not a big one, anyway. Hello, Miss Chloe. Oh. And we'll still be releasing her this weekend. I hate to send her back out there with all those traps. I'll make another search of the area. Okay. Be careful. Always. What are you doing, girl? Oh. What is my girl doing? I think we got him, Chief. Really? Mm -hmm. Good work, Marika. <laughs> Sit down. Mom. I only want her to give her some water. I'm sorry. You should have come to me if Elsa needed something. I know. Dylan, when Elsa first came here, this was all new to me. I didn't know how much our interaction had affected her. But acclimating her to the wild almost cost her her life. I can't let that happen again. I understand. I'm sorry, really. I know. It's just that this time I want to do it right. If there's any pain to be absorbed, I want to be the one to absorb it, not her.
traced these traps to a supplier in Namibia. So I had a little chat with him about his most recent transactions. Looks like your supplier sold you out, Brick. Yeah. Where's the love, huh, McQueen? You said you bought eight traps. Had serial numbers and everything. Go figure. Care to tell me where they are? What's in it for me? Clear of conscience? <laughs> now, what the hell would I do with that? Well, come sentencing, I might see fit to put in a word with the magistrate. Oh, it's getting so a guy can't even make a living these days. I only got five out there. In the Jalawa area. Whoa, Katie. Where you going? Elsa's in pain. Elsa's fine. Travis, she needs me. Katie, she's doing to you what she did to Dylan. She's lonely. You know it's for the best right now just to leave her be. I'm gonna scrap this whole vacation idea. Timing's all wrong. Yeah, boy. Taking Kate away won't make her forget about Elsa. It's true. I just wish there was something, you know, special that I could do for her. Mm -hmm. Make her feel better, you know? Marika. My little brother wanted to give me something for my 16th birthday. He did not have much money. So, he gave me this. <laughs> With all my favorite colors. Oh, it means a world to me. It's very pretty. Handicrafts aren't exactly my strong point, though. Uh, well, I'm sure you can find something that is special to Kate. Ranger one to Kangaroo Air. Max, this is Travis. Do you copy? Go ahead, Travis. This is Max. Max, I need you to pick up a passenger for me. Roger that, Travis. some jelly beans. Thanks, Spike. I mean, miss you, you know. It's all right. It's only for a couple weeks. Life seems to be filled with them lately. I guess you're pretty lucky, then. How do you figure that? Well, you can't have a goodbye without a hello first. Did we mean for you to get this smart while you were away in school? <laughs> I'm finished packing, finally. No renegade baboons or mischievous dogs stealing your stuff? <laughs> nope. Everyone seems to be okay with it. Now I'm the only one who doesn't want to go. Ah! 
Guess it was too much to hope that she'd forget about it, huh? Well, she is an elephant. Hey, it's like riding a bike. Just like riding a bike. Are you sure you don't mind driving Dylan to the airport? No, I don't mind at all. What is going on? <laughs> we thought you might like to spend a few days with your family. Uh, really? Well, I'm gonna miss you too, boy. But I gotta go now. We'll see ya. Masai, I wish you could come too, but I can't fit you in my bag, buddy. Now stay. Good boy. I'll be back soon. It's okay, girl. I'll be back in a couple weeks. It's definitely time to go. 
Bye, Mom. Take care, Bob. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> You two alone on the compound? <laughs> Bye. I'll get my bag. You won't need it. Change. It can bring joy and it can bring pain. But what is certain is that it will happen, whether we want it to or not. And for that, I am grateful. <laughs>